Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what are the various phases or how you can develop a BI system. So there are around four different phases or four different uh, parts by which you can develop your BI system. So those are first you have the analysis, then you have the design, planning, implementation and control. So we have the diagram as well as we have the theory. So let's start how you can develop a BI system. So let's get started. So first of all, this BI system, if you develop with these phases and uh, ultimately if you develop this BI system, you can probably assimilate it to your project and then you can estimate the number of resources which are uh, actually required for it. You can identify your uh, final objective which is required for a project and also you can uh, estimate the time as well as the cost required for development of different modules. And so the very first step goes with uh, BI system development is you have the analysis. So uh, in analysis, what do you do? You identify various uh, business needs. So it's like needs of an organization are basically identified, which is relevant to a, a business intelligence system. And since this is a primary phase, so what it does, uh, they conduct a series of interviews by uh, knowledge workers. So knowledge workers are nothing but people working in the similar organization. And so the outcome which you get after the analysis phase, you get the description of general objectives as well as the priorities of the project like at which time which uh, activity or which module should be completed then the perceived cost and benefits from the bi system so if that is over that is the analysis over then you do the designing thing so uh, designing is done with the help of these two blocks that is you have the infrastructure recognition you have to uh, identify which is the underlying infrastructure or uh, what are the previous infrastructures that we use and then you have the project macro planning that is nothing but a blueprint or an estimate an overview of how the uh, design phase uh, would consist of so in that it's nothing but a blueprint of the architecture with any future evolution or the development in the system like in future if it's like any changes or if any db is moving or shifting in out so that you have to identify basically in this and then uh, you will have the assessment of the existing information infrastructure so like uh, currently how the infrastructure is there or what all are informations that you can uh, gain from the current infrastructure so that assessment you need to have in design phase and so the outcome is like you put forward the project plan which is required for your next phases you have the development priorities and phases and also the expected execution time and cost of each and individual module that was easy so next we move on to the planning phase so planning is very much important in required in bi system not only in bi in everything in uh, data mining as well as to bi system so it's like it is the bigger most uh, kind of block contained and so you can see different different blocks interlinked so it's nothing but you have the detailed project requirement then which was there in the analysis step then you have the definition of the mathematical model certain formulae certain equations that would be uh, requiring to build your application then you have the development of a prototype finally along with identification of the relevant uh, definition of data as well as data warehouse and data mart so like if you do all these things like uh, you gather the detailed project requirements uh, in each week, in each day, whatever activities you have to achieve as well as the definition of different mathematical models and then the data marts or data warehouse which you identify and then finally you develop a system prototype. Now prototype is required like to uncover any kind of errors before it goes to the uh, live project. So it's like it's very much uh, required in the uh, project and so it's like uh, it comes in the planning phase and so functions of the bi system are just defined and it is described so it's like functionality of the bi system how the actual bi system would be responding uh, to the real environment or like if there are any issues that you do in this so assessment of existing and external data are checked in that and also you have the system prototype which will uncover any changes uh, like before going into the production environment and next we have the final phase that is the implementation and control and so it will contain that is four different blocks and then you have the final release and testing so it's like a series of phases so you have the development of data warehouses and data marts you have the development of metadata that is data about data then you have the development of etl tools that is the extraction transformation and loading tools then you have the development of various applications and finally you release and test and like you do it for maintenance and so it's divided into five different phases so in phase first you develop data warehouse and data marts then in phase two it uh, does the etl procedures that is extraction transformation so extraction and transformation is done in hand in hand and so it is done on the primary sources of the database from where the raw data sources are coming and then finally you load it to the data warehouse and data marts for indexing and for maintaining a particular unified schema throughout then in phase three you develop the core bi applications which are required for your project and finally 
in uh, phase 4 and phase 5 what you do you just release it for testing as well as the usage and for maintenance it's like any queries or any kind of uh, relevant doubts are there regarding your BI application you uh, sit and solve in that kind of phase so well that was all regarding the uh, phases or the development of a BI system so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank